Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Network, and man, I feel really bad for Star Fox. I made a whole video about it, how it keeps getting rebooted, and honestly, it seems like a miracle we have as much as we do in Smash. But at the time of the original Smash, Star Fox was one of the big Nintendo IPs, so it did make sense. Thankfully, Ultimate has a lot of love for the franchise. So let's jump into the R-Wing as we go into every spare battle explained for Star Fox. The Slippy Toad Spirit is represented by Greninja and a fox is a helper. Greninja must be defeated to win, but he avoids conflict, a nod to how Fox often has to help or save Slippy from enemy troops. You've battled out on Frigate Orphan, which probably is meant to be the Great Fox's hangar bay as the Star Fox melody plays. The Peppy Hair Spirit is represented by King Dedede in a bunny hood with Fox and Falco as you battle them on Venom. Venom was probably used because part of Peppy's history is he got betrayed by Pigma, him and James McCloud, and he narrowly escaped being killed. It is questionable why there isn't a green Greninja as Slippy, but oh well. You battle it out to the main theme of Star Fox 64. The Crystal Spirit is represented by Fox and Falco on Corneria. Then the assist trophy for Crystal will spawn early in the battle to help our allies. This is kind of confusing considering the fox is colored to look kind of like crystal, so I'm not sure if the crystal assist trophy is meant to be crystal, or if the fox is meant to be crystal, or if the fox is meant to be fox. Eh, it gets confusing. The theme to Area 6 plays. The Rob 64 spirit is represented by Rob and Fox and Falco as his allies. Rob 64 was named after Rob, so it works on pretty much every level. You battle it out on Corneria in this stamina battle. To win, Rob must be defeated. The Area 6 theme from Star Fox 64 plays. The James McCloud Spirit is represented by his son Fox. Fox's attack, speed, and defense is increased when he is more damaged. This could be a nod to how you must escape the exploding facility on Venom, where you battle it out at the end of Star Fox 64, when James's spiritual guidance helped Fox escape after his opponent Andros was nearly defeated. The Star Fox melody plays during this battle. The Landmaster Spirit is represented by Giant Rob while battling on Venom. Rob's neutral special, the Robo Beam, has increased power to represent the Landmaster's powerful cannon. He'll also focus on trying to shoot you with it. Space Battleground plays during this battle. Kind of confusing, considering the Landmaster is meant for land, and they could have used a lot of different songs, but Space Battleground. The Gyro Wing Spirit is represented by Fox by battling out on pilot wings to help simulate the Gyro Wing flying around. Fox will start the battle with a Rocket Belt to help that flying feel as Sector Omega plays. The Leon Pulaski Spirit is represented by fellow Reptile Yoshi with a Wolf Helper, and you get a Fox as your ally and nod to the rivalry that Falco and the Great Leon has. You battle it out on Venom, and if Falco dies, you lose. The Star Wolf theme from Brawl plays, as Wolf and Leon are part of Team Star Wolf. The Pigma Dengar Spirit is represented by Wario and Wolf as his helper. Wario will avoid conflict and will gain speed as he is damaged, a nod to Pigma's cowardly way and he will try to get out of being in trouble or hurt through any means. It was so bad that at one point Wolf kicked him out of Star Wolf for it. You battle it out on the Lilac Cruise while the theme to Star Wolf from Brawl plays. The Andrew Orkney Spirit is represented by fellow Simeon Diddy Kong. You battle it out on Corneria as Diddy's attacks will get buffed as he's damaged, a potential nod to how Andrew will stop at nothing to realize his late Uncle Andros's dream of ruling the Lilat system and him taking over his army in Star Fox Assault for a single mission. Then I think he dies. It's actually not really clear. And then they rebooted the series, so I don't really know. Anywho, the Star Wolf theme from Brawl plays as he was, and now in the current timeline, I think part of Team Star Wolf. The Panther Caruza Spirit is represented by Wolf while battling on Corneria. His movement speed is increased, a potential nod to Panther being an ace pilot member of Team Star Wolf. The Star Wolf theme plays. The Wolfen Spirit is represented by Wolf while battling on Venom. Wolf's attack and speed are increased, and the final smash meter charges quicker, so Wolf can unleash his final smash, Team Star Wolf, which summons the teams in their Wolfens. Star Wolf's theme, Sector Z, plays during this fight. The Andros from Star Fox 64 Spirit is represented by Ganondorf on Venom, the planet Andros was exiled to and created a plan to conquer the Lilat system. The Andros Assist Trophy spawns early in the battle while the gravity is low to give Ganondorf a floaty feel as Andros is kind of just a floating head. Sector Omega plays. The Aperoid Spirit is represented by Metal Ridley as the Aperoids are half machine-like creatures that like to assimilate other beings. Basically Borgs. 
You battle it out on Venom as your jump abilities are hindered while Ridley's are enhanced. Space Battleground plays during this battle. The General Pepper Spirit is represented by Fox while he battles on his home planet of Corneria. Fox will get sudden final smashes to summon Team Star Fox, perhaps a nod to how General Pepper has to suddenly always request for Star Fox's help. The main theme from Star Fox plays. The Tricky Spirit is represented by Yoshi. I mean, they're both dinosaurs, so it works pretty well. You fight it out on distant planet meant to represent Tricky's home world of Saria. Earthquakes happen from time to time, a nod to the tremors dinosaurs can make when they walk. It's also possibly a nod to the fact that in Star Fox Adventures, the planet was broken up into by the greatest villain of all time, General Scales, which was part of his plan to take over the entire planet. Break through the ice plays by battling. The Dash Bowman Spirit is represented by Diddy Kong with Fox as a helper, as the grandson of Andros is a bit of a fanboy of the Star Fox. You have to defeat Diddy to win as Return to Corneria from Star Fox Zero plays. Again, making very little sense as Star Fox Zero was a reboot and Dash is no longer in this continuity. And that is every Star Fox Spirit Battle explained. All of this really makes me just want a continuation of the Star Fox series, not another reboot, as you can see that it kind of annoys me. From 64 to even Command, the world building made by these characters is impressive, and I've always wanted to learn more about them and the Lilat system. It was fun to relive the space battles once again with Team Star Fox. Thank you for joining me here at the Nintendo Network. What was your favorite Star Fox spirit? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join the Discord, and consider helping out on Patreon. As always, this is the Nintendo Network, signing off.